Hi guys, my name is Neda Seme and we're gonna present to you the hologram. So, what are holograms? Holography is a photographic technique that records the light scattered from an object and then presents it in a way that appears three-dimensional. A hologram is a real-world recording of an interference pattern between use, uses the fraction to reproduce a 3D light field resulting in an image which still has the depth, parallax, and other properties of the original scene. Next, who has the history of hologram? In 1947, a Hungarian scientist, Dennis Gaber, invents holography. He made two-dimensional flat image holograms as a mercury arc lamp using exposures of many hours. The development of the laser enabled the first practical optical holograms that recorded 3D objects to be made in 1962. Early holograms used silver halide photographic emulsions as a recording medium. A holographic explosion was originated in the United States in the 1960s after the inventions of laser Amos Lillis who made the first hologram of a three-dimensional object in 1964. And in late 1970s, Mike Foster makes the first mechanically produced hologram, converting the interference lines of a rainbow hologram into a surface relief pattern. In 1982, the Mac Brew also invents the 2D, 3D holograms to create the layering of flat images, making imposed holograms easier to see at an, in an ambient light. National Geographic features a hologram in, in the front cover. 11 million were produced in 1993 in an International Hologram Manufacturers Association. The IHMA is formed. And in 1995, Iraq is the first country to use a hologram on its standard passport. And we are gonna get to the question on how to make a hologram. To create a hologram, you need an object that you want to record, a laser beam to be shined upon the objects and the recording medium. With the proper materials needed to help clarify the image, a clear environment is to enable the light beams to intersect. A laser beam is split into two identical beams and redirected by the use of mirrors. One of split beams, object beam, is directed at the object. Some of the light is reflected off the object onto the recording medium. The second beam reference beam is directed onto the recording medium, this way it does not conflict with any imagery that comes from the object beam, and coordinates with it to create a more precise image in the hologram location. The two beams intersect and interfere with each other. The interference pattern is what is imprinted on the recording medium to create a virtual image for our eyes to see. Hello, my name is Nada Said, and this is a guide of the advantages and disadvantages of hologram. There are many advantages of hologram as the very cost effective solution to make and to hire. First, it has higher storage capacity compared to other methods. It offers creation of multiple images on single plate, including 3D images. It also doesn't require special glasses to view and can be viewed from any angle. Disadvantages such as it has higher production cost compared to 2D projection, it's not easily seen in the presence of fluorescent lightning. Use of applying the concept of holographic projection and the design of products are costly. Our first example on the hologram is the Cairo Opera House organized the hologram concert for Omical Soon for the first time in Egypt on March 6. The second example on holography is that has also been featured in the cinema in some famous sequences. An example is seen in the Back to the Future 2 when Marty McFly is watching the advertising poster of the movie Jaws 19 and suddenly the sharks come alive and attacks him. Some museums use holograms of delicate and valuable objects to substitute for the originals. This is the case of the Lindo Man, a 2300 year old mummy that was well preserved in a chamber of the British Museum of London, while its hologram is presented both to the public and to researchers to study it. My lecturer is a hologram. 
Some countries started to apply this technology in their education systems where the students can have their teachers or professors in their home or somewhere else rather than schools lecturing them through the holographic bodies as exactly as it was real. It's some beneficial nowadays in the advance of the online education systems. It may be used one day in Egypt schools and universities and it's also a recommended way to be used in our college. The future of hologram, what is to come? Online hologram classes, where virtual teachers and students are attending the hologram classes all at once from their homes. It will be a big success if it's supplied, because I'm sure where teachers and monitors can monitor the students.